In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Rentley Smart Bolt Smart Lock. The Rentley Smart Bolt is the future of access control for rental homes, featuring increased security, durability, and battery life for worry-free property management and a smooth renter experience. The Smart Bolt offers multiple secure ways to unlock a property, including offline codes, Bluetooth control through the Rentley Smart Home app, and online control through the Rentley portal. This flexibility ensures a simple move-in and move-out experience. To install your Rentley Smart Bolt, you will need Rentley Smart Bolt, 8 AA batteries. Warning, do not insert the batteries into the lock until it is fully installed. Doing so may damage the lock. And a Phillips screwdriver. Prepare for the install. Unpack and check if all the necessary parts are included. Remove the smart bolt and hardware from the packaging and check the contents with the diagram in the user manual. Remove any existing deadbolt hardware. If you are using power tools, it is recommended that you adjust torque settings to the lowest setting to prevent stripping the screws. Step 1. Install the deadbolt. Slide the deadbolt assembly into the opening on the side of the door with the top text oriented properly. Install using the screws provided. Be sure the deadbolt assembly is fully seated. Step 2. Assemble the keypad and wiring. Rotate the deadbolt shaft so that the bump is on the top side. Next, rotate the deadbolt knob to align it with the shaft. Arrange the corresponding rubber gaskets to be fully seated against the back of the keypad and the back of the mounting bracket. Feed the keypad wire under the deadbolt hardware. Then, through the cable hole in the mounting bracket. Step 3. Secure the faceplate mounting bracket. Attach the mounting bracket to the faceplate using two of the machine screws provided. Multiple screw lengths are provided to accommodate the thickness of your door. If necessary, you may rotate the cable 90 degrees and hang the keypad from the bracket while arranging your hardware. Step 4. Connect the keypad cable. Connect the keypad cable to the battery box cable by firmly snapping the connectors together. Install the battery box using two short screws and the back panel screw at the bottom. Note, be sure the cable inside is tucked to the side so that the install screws do not pinch the wires as you tighten them down. Rotate the deadbolt knob by hand to be sure that it moves freely and that the screws are not over tightened. Step 5. Insert the batteries. Once your hardware is installed, you may insert the batteries. Although the lock will perform basic functions with four batteries in the lower compartment, eight is recommended for longer battery life and proper functions. Step 6. Test the lock. To complete the installation, log in to the Rentally Smart Home app and follow the in-app instructions. Troubleshooting. If the deadbolt does not rotate smoothly, be sure you install the bump on the internal deadbolt shaft on the top side. Adjust the knob during assembly so they align. Be sure your screws are not too tight. If the lock does not respond, yet the door is open and accessible, check to see if the keypad numbers are illuminated. Check if the batteries are installed and oriented correctly into the battery case. Check to make sure batteries are in good condition and replace batteries if they are dead. Be sure the internal cable is fully connected and is not pinched. If the lock does not respond and the door is locked and inaccessible, Batteries may not have enough power. Apply a 9 volt battery to the terminals to power up and unlock the deadbolt. Replace batteries. If the lock chimes to indicate that the code was accepted, but the door doesn't open, check the door gaps for any foreign objects between the door and frame. Be sure the cable is firmly connected to the inside lock. If the lock operates to allow access without automatically relocking, check to see if auto lock is enabled. Disable and re-enable auto lock with the switch along the top edge. Check batteries for sufficient power. Entry codes will not work. Entry codes must be five digits. Check your codes in the app or online portal. If the deadbolt does not extend when locking the door with keypad, the lock may not have been handed properly. Re-hand the lock. If the lock is not responding to unlock command in the app and the codes not setting, Reinitialize the lock by removing the batteries, reinstalling the batteries, and attempting to connect to the lock again. Batteries die quickly. 
High quality standard AA batteries tend to have the best results, like Duracell, Energizer, etc. Lock not responding. Jump start not working. Lock is completely unresponsive. Contact your property manager for key access to manually unlock the deadbolt. If you need further assistance, please visit our website or contact Rently Support at 888-340-6340.